everybody, I'm Elena and obviously I am looking at what I got over the past couple weeks and I'm starting to think I have a problem. I have a problem because apparently I got like seven new lipsticks and I know I am a lipstick junkie and saying that it is drugstore it doesn't justify getting them because I didn't need another coral or another red or another nude and even though they are um, different shades and yeah whatnot I shouldn't have but I did and I'm loving it and using it and I'm gonna show to you what I just recently got and from now on I'm just gonna have to walk to the street with um, I don't know uh, two euros coin and the credit card has to leave at home maybe and that'll help me so yeah let's just, just begin <laughs> stop the rambling and I'll show you what I shouldn't have gotten but I got anyway and I hope you enjoy it um, we'll begin with uh, apparently, uh, well, lipsticks. Let's just begin. I will justify this um, purchase with saying uh, this L'Oreal Caress 101 in Tempting Lilac. I will swatch it for you. And I, al I am wearing it today on my lips with a lip pencil that I'm going to show you as well. And it's a really beautiful, your lips are better color. And I thought it would look gorgeous for a day-to-day -day look. And that um, I will not say that I need it because, again, all that I bought, I already had similar products. And yeah, but I thought, well, maybe I could throw this into the purse. And this lip color goes well with so many looks. and. Uh, this lip formula is so moisturizing and it goes sheer so you can do no wrong and well I got it there you go next on an, another trip to the drugstore but I thought mm, I have that shade but you know I just have uh, hold on I'm not gonna count but an estimated amount of 10 uh, mauve nude lip liners so apparently I needed this one <laughs> I desperately needed it uh, the problem is that they have uh, the lip pencil to swatch and it swatched beautifully I'm gonna swatch it for you this is oh my god I can't believe this it just broke on me I just sharpened it I'm wearing it today Oh, come on now. Well, I'll do my best. There you go. Here's the lip line. And the color is uh, 302 Bois de Rose. Or if you want to butcher it, it's Boys, Boys de Rose or whatever. And yeah, it is a really beautiful mauve nude color. And this and red are my go-to everyday colors. I think they complement my skin and my look and yeah. I have to stop justifying even on this video because there's no justification other than I shouldn't have gotten it, but I did. So before getting this lip pencil and forgetting that I had this when I got this because again, I have too much makeup and then you forget that you have some things and yeah, well, I love the formula of the other color drama, the coral one that I had. So I went and back and got this uh, 140 minimalist, and it is this one. Can you see a thin? And I thought, hey, for a daily basis, this is beautiful, and it is so convenient because uh, you can throw it in the bag as well, and it works as a lip liner and as a lipstick, and yeah. But the lip combo that I'm wearing to today is the L'Oreal one, and I'm liking it better, but I like this a lot, so... Oh, God. And then, um, quite apparently, I went to get some food and there was this really cheap brand at the, at the grocery store and it is called Freedom, uh, Freedom London. And I thought, 
it was two euros, it was really cheap, and I thought, well, the shade 102 Kiss, and I thought, this might be the perfect pink gloss, I like this shade, uh, for two euros, uh, I'm gonna give this a try, and I got it, obviously. Now, this formulation, it is terrible, and the application, yeah, but again, it is beautiful. It really looks, it's my second to favorite gloss, pink gloss that I have. Uh, my first one is NYX Beige. And this one is really, really beautiful. And the formulation of the product is not really great, but the color, bravo. And for the price, you cannot beat this. So yeah, I was thinking when I go back to the grocery store, I'm gonna get another one, a refill one, just in case I run out of it. But Maybe if I do, then I will have a problem and I will be that lipstick lady that got buried with her lipsticks and yeah. And then I got another really cheap, but that doesn't justify getting it. And it also costs money and they don't give it to me for free. This number four show off liquid lipstick from Essence. And it mimics that, that the Maybelline ones and the Maybelline ones um, mimic the um, Dior ones. I could show you all of this, but this is a whole a haul. I don't know how you say it. Blah, blah, blah. And this is a curly shade. And yeah, I could swatch it like this and then show it to you. And it's gonna go better. And it is pretty good. I like Essence products. I don't know how people don't. I guess uh, maybe because in the US they don't have it that much access to this brand but yeah it's a really beautiful col color cor coral color <laughs> there I got a tongue twist and so far so good I've been enjoying it but these days uh, I mean after Easter it was it, it's been cold all over again and it's not inviting and I find myself wearing nudes and fine wine and whatnot because I was all ready to wear coral like I didn't have coral lipsticks already but yeah I had to get two or three more just in case you know the perfect shade the perfect hue well whatever anyway and now it's like you wear spring makeup and no because you're going back with with at least where I live with chunky chunky uh, woolen sweaters and whatnot this is all to say that I got this 403 attractive coral from Astor and this is a, a coral lipstick and it is a very f beautiful one and slightly different and this one it looks more beautiful into my lips my skin and whatnot than others that I have and it's really moisturizing and I like it and I will say it just once more and I won't say it again none of these purchases are justified I didn't need this, but I got it. So yeah, we get it. And then uh, as for the last lipstick color, so it makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great, you got a problem in two weeks. Phenomenal. This 335 Carmen Saint Germain Coleridge by L'Oreal. And this is because I was at the drugstore and I saw this uh, lip pencil and then I looked down, you know, and I saw this beautiful red on display and I swatched it on my hand and I thought I have lots of red, like 20 or more, I have a problem. But I didn't have anything quite like this, like cherry but moisturizing but summery at the same time and it is this one. And it looks really beautiful um, I have been wearing this and yeah I like it and I must say all the products that I since in here we don't get um, I will say that we don't get uh, such a good return policies as I hear you guys have in the US or whatnot but we get to swatch the products not the product per se but you have a swatching product on display so you can really swatch and look how it's gonna look like the product and yeah then it's um, harder to get mistaken you know because you get to try it on your skin 
moving on. I got a couple of blushes. I got this one. They were on clearance at Essence um, for some collections that, you know, the winter collection, some other collections, and I got a couple of product, three, four products from Essence. <laughs> and I got this beautiful blush, which is called Bury Me Up. And it looks like this. I don't know, I, I am gonna swatch on the other hand. That was the air freshener, don't be scared. And don't get scared, this is really concentrated, you can really sheer it out. And I am actually wearing it today. And I really like it. Then I got a peachy uh, blush from L'Oreal, the blush that I saw and I really fell in love with the shade and it's 163 Nectarine and it looks like this and I'm just gonna swatch it for you again you have to be careful with the colors at least if you have fair skin like I do because you can really go overboard oh I mean this camera is not it's doing no favor I have to start using the ring light because this yellow is no it's not showing the orangey but there you go Moving on, I repurchased, I am wiping with a clean cloth my hand. I repurchased this Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder because I had a little bit left but it fell on the floor and it broke and I couldn't repair it, not with rubbing alcohol or anything so I got a new one because I love it that much and yeah, it's just a translucent powder that really works and I use it. And I just quickly looked myself at the mirror because it was like, huh. <laughs> anyway. Then I I have been really into highlights lately. lately. And um, I got this Essence collection that was on clearance, the Cinderella one. I don't care that it was a collection from Disney or, no. I liked the shade a lot, the glass slipper number one. And I really, I mean, my favorite uh, highlighter and today I it it was all about the glowy skin so hence the glow and the highlighting this is soft and gentle by Mac but I found that I had no I love this highlighter whatever don't justificate this is really packed up packed up and I am gonna share it out for you in here Ooh, let's see can you see well, there's the beautiful sheen. And it has this beautiful, sparkly, beautiful sheen. Um, yeah, I like it and I, I am gonna use it. Voila. And since I didn't have blue eyeshadows, joking, JK, I got a couple more, one from Essence and one from Catrice. The Essence is uh, called Lola Petrola and the Catrice is called Petrol pan, go figure, they're all about petrol and they look like this. Mm. Please open up. Open up. You won't open for me. Open up. And they are this beautiful mm, denim, blue denim with sheen, shimmery shades. And yeah, I decided that this was a. a turn on the trans, spring transcends. Well, there you go. The shiniest one, it's really a reflective one, is the Catrice one. And this one um, is the uh, Essence one. And I already have uh, worn it and I already have made some videos about it. Um, yeah, and I like them. There you go. And then a product that I got and I was, it was really hyped. I think all over the internet and it was new in my drugstore even though I have seen it ever since last December or so on the internet and it is this L'Oreal Sculpt Butterfly Mascara and mine is looking really gross so I'm gonna show you like that because there was the safety seal on this side very clever and I have already used it several times I have a, a review on it coming up and this stuff, once you get used to it, okay, 
it gets easier to apply, but it flakes. It flakes a lot and this is something that keeps on happening. So I don't know what's the hype about this and I regret the 13 euros that I paid for it. And that is it. Uh, this was my haul. As you can see, it was a long haul, all drugstore and whatnot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to keep you updated and see you in the next one. Bye!